Well, hello, YouTube world. So today, Tesla kind of surprised us, or at least surprised me, with the new update, the 2020.8.1. That was not a surprise, an update, because they do updates quite a bit. What was surprising to me, and I think to many people, is that the track mode version 2 is included on all Model 3 performances, even if you don't buy the track package, it actually came free, which I thought that you had to buy that $5,500 track package with the wheels and everything to get that. But that is not the case. So this is really, really cool. So I want to show you a little bit about this update here on the screen. And uh, then we'll do some testing on the driving part of it, which should be a lot of fun. And uh, let's see what this update is all about, shall we? So as you can see, I just uploaded it and uh, here's the screen that shows the improvement. So the track mode improvement, which is the V2, as we all know, allows you to completely adjust the handling balance to make it uh, either completely all-wheel drive or rear-wheel drive or front-wheel drive to turn on or turn off the stability control and you can turn it completely off and um, if you really want to spin your tires like a madman and also obviously the regen but also it allows you to have the post-drive cooling a uh, compressor overclock which basically allows you to make sure that the if pushed to its limit to keep the battery as cool as possible and the record video option so the record video will allow you to record um, all of your track times and everything else so first i'm just gonna slowly uh, scroll through some of these uh, new features for everybody to see we also have a bluetooth improvement which is really cool because i know that very often when i walked close to my car sometimes my car would take over the bluetooth and i wouldn't be able to talk to the person i'm talking to unless i switched it off of bluetooth now the bluetooth will only pair in your car once you sit down and close all of the doors which is really, really cool. Um, so we've got some improved, uh, improved voice command reliability, and uh, I think everything else is part of the previous release. So uh, if we turn that off and we click on the uh, driving, you notice that now the track mode has a customize option and when you click on customize you can actually choose up to 20 different race presets so you can you can set the handling balance uh, however you want to uh, so this is on race Let's see there's a drift preset and then if you want to you can add a new setting so i'm gonna call this test i'm gonna be very very clever about this and you can adjust to make it either completely uh front wheel or rear wheel drive or anywhere in between stability assist obviously if you're at zero it's gonna um, uh, distribute everything evenly right uh, how your uh, values offer more assistance when needed lower values will allow you more freedom i like how they say freedom uh, so basically that means if you put it on minus 10 and you punch the gas pedal you're going to be spinning your tires and doing burnouts all day long um, which could be a lot of fun so as we noticed the uh, post driving cooling right continues to cool the powertrain between laps while you're away from your car this shortens the recovery time for your next session but consumes additional energy as we and does noise the compressor overclock allows the powertrain cooling compressor to go into overdrive beyond its normal working rate 
when needed to sufficiently cool the powertrain and avoid limitation performance. So, um, interesting that it says enabling overclock compressor results in reduced compressor lifespan. So you really have to be very careful with that one, right? Um, and that's something that I haven't seen very many people talk about. So save the dash cam for laps, obviously. We all know that uh, you can save the dash cam for laps. It's enable uh, in track mode. It stores a video of your driving sessions. Um, it saves the dash cam laps. It's, this, is, this is very, very, very cool, right? Okay, I just turned on. Holy crap, the car is making a lot of noise. I don't know if you can hear this. But I turned on track mode. Oh, it's because the post-driving cooling is on. I bet. Oh, wow. It is... Uh, okay. It is definitely cooling. So, as you can see from the track mode, you also have on here... Uh, the tire temperature, brake temperature, battery temperature, and the uh, G-force, which is very, very cool. Uh, but just turning on track mode really turned on some serious cooling action. Which is a lot louder than I expected it to be. Wow. Now I turned it off and it's not turning off. Oh, here we go. So when you turn off track mode, eventually that noise does go away. Wow. That was uh, seriously seriously loud okay I did not expect that so I, I did not expect that noise uh, for the car to get that loud but it makes sense right because it has to make sure that everything stays cooler so um, all of the the compressors and and the cooling systems are turning on full blast which does make a lot of sense so now it should be really interesting to see what happens when you drive it. So that will be on my next video and uh, we'll try to uh, give it a couple of um, tests. Obviously I don't really have a track to test it on so um, I don't want to break any laws. So uh, I'm going to have to try to find a place where I can do that legally and um and i'll keep you informed but so far this has been a really nice surprise i didn't expect to see this update part of free uh without buying the track package 5500 dollars track package so uh that's very very cool so we shall see this is this is exciting this is why i love teslas right you get so many new features for free randomly so this is uh this is very cool so as always um if you like my videos please uh hit um, like uh on this button right here and uh hit subscribe on this button right here and as I will be posting a lot more tips and tricks and obviously I will be posting as well the testing of the track mode while driving. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.